never get caught. Technically speaking, Martin Nash is neither a magician nor a con man. But performing as the charming cheat, he uses his agility and skill to manipulate cards and entertain. How you do? I'd like to welcome to the show. And it's cheating time. Now, there's one question I do get asked. People say, is this an honest deck of cards? Is it marked? Is it gimmicked? Or is it tricked up? I'll be honest with you, and this is the only time I will be doing the entire performance. I buy my cards in a drugstore. So as you'll see, the cards are honest. It's only the hands that cheat. The ability to produce any card at will is only a small part of his repertoire. It's taken Nash more than 30 years to achieve an expertise for manipulating cards virtually by feel alone. It's a skill he's willing to share. I am going to show you how to do this, but please don't use it, because if you do, as I say, I would feel very bad. In order that you can see everything, I'm going to do it with all of the cards face up. So the ace of spades is on top of the deck. Now, if you want to keep the ace for yourself, all you do is just take the second card. I mean, it's just that simple. You see, just reach and take a card. Now, if you want, you speed it up, and it'll look a heck of a lot better. But in slow motion, it's just like this. So you can see exactly how I'm getting that card. And as you speed it up, it just looks better. One thing that's always fascinated me is the simple fact that you practice, practice, practice in my particular field. And I guess in my life, I've spent over, oh, maybe 3,000 hours practicing to do a second deal. And when you stop and think about it, it's a little bit ridiculous because you're practicing so that nobody can see it. Even using slow motion replay, it's impossible to see how he manages to deal the second card from underneath the ace. Gambling is my business card tricks for my hobby. But if you took a real top card magician and a third-rate card cheat, the magician wouldn't stand a chance. The reason being is the two techniques are entirely different. And the card cheat, of course, he has to work under fire. Not too long ago, I was in a game, and there's one type of person I really don't like. They get very, very suspicious. And he took the four aces, and he placed them into four different parts of the deck. Now, of course, I was watching very carefully so as I would know where the cards are, the four aces. I did happen to notice that there was exactly six cards above the first ace, three, six. I also happened to notice there was eight between the next, seven between the next, and six between the next. So because I already know where those aces are, I can be able to deal them to myself. But then he took it one step further. He pushed the cards in flush, and then he cut the deck. Now, to make it even more difficult for me, he took the deck, and in his hands, like this, he gave it the deck a shuffle. Now, of course, I have absolutely no idea as to where those aces are. Three fellas came over. And I said, do you mind if we join the game? We said no. So that meant that we had eight people in the game. But at that point, I happened to notice that one of them had a great deal of money. And who would have the money, sir? It's an eight-handed game. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who? Four. Number four. You must be a card player. <laughs> That's one of the most difficult hands to set up. As I say, I had no idea where anything was, so I was just dealing the cards, so I'm just going to be playing by luck. Well, he happened to get a king, so I'm just playing by luck because, uh, well, I would like to match from the spade to the spade. Now, the odds of getting a pair on the first, well, he did happen to get a pair, but that's just pure blind luck, and so I would have to reach over and get the ace of hearts for myself. Now, three of a kind, of course, is a very good hand, so, you, you know, well, I didn't expect him, but he did, which means I had to follow with the ace of diamonds. And four of a kind was practically, well, it wasn't impossible for me to get it also. So for those of you who may be interested, there's a little game at my house this evening. I accept both Visa and MasterCard, so just give me a call. Thank you. When you're sitting down at the table and you're entertaining people doing quote-unquote card tricks, then you'll be using entirely different moves than you would if you were sitting at the table playing for big money. And the one thing about the card cheat, if he makes a mistake, he gets beat up. The magician, he gets laughed at. Uh, there's a big difference. Now watch it really 